Hi, this is Griffin with Wayson Furniture. Today, we're going to be building the Mainstays hairpin coffee table. This is the oak finish, and it can be found on walmart.com. Before you start, you want to make sure that you have all of your pieces and panels, and that none of them have any damage. And also, you want to make sure that you have all of your hardware. If you have any issues, you can call the number on the front of the manual, and we'll get you taken care of. If all is in order, then we can begin assembly. In step one, you're going to want to take your A panel and six cam bolt ones. You're going to screw the cam bolts into these outer smaller pre-drilled holes. Be sure to uh, screw your cam bolts in upright. In step two, keep your A panel out. Grab two cam bolt twos, your two uh, screw sixes, and this magnet piece. Uh, to start, you're going to want to grab your two cam bolt sixes, and you're going to want to drill them in to the two outer pre drilled holes right here. Then grab your magnet and two screw sixes. And there's gonna be two little pre-drilled holes right here. Put that magnet over it with this uh, metal side facing towards the outside of the panel. And then secure it with your two screws. In step three, you're going to want to grab your C, D, and E panel, 12 wood dowel pieces, and six cam lock ones. Uh, we can start with the cam locks. So you're going to want to put two cam locks in each panel. On top of the cam locks, there will be a plus and minus sign. You'll want to position this so that they point towards the pre-drilled hole on this other side of the panel. So for these, I'm going to put the plus and minus facing this direction. And if you don't put it in right, you can always use a screwdriver to adjust it however you need. So we're gonna put two of these in each of the panels. Remember to keep those plus and minuses facing out towards this pre joint hole on the side. Next, you're going to insert four wood dowel pieces into each panel. Here, you're gonna insert them in to the inner pre joint holes. Again, insert them in to these two inner pre drilled holes. Okay, now we're going to do the other sides of the panels. Again, inserting them in to these two inner pre drilled holes. These other ones are too small to insert them anyway, so. For set four, grab your G panel six of these plastic dowel pieces, and two of your cam lock twos. Uh, we can start with the cam locks. So on these cam locks, there's a plus and minus and an arrow. Again, you want to position these in the cam uh, lock hole so that they're facing out towards the pre drilled holes on this side. So I'm positioning the plus and minus facing towards me. Next, take three of your plastic dowel pieces and insert them into these three middle pre drilled holes. And then do this on this other side. Make sure you're inserting them into the pre drilled holes that are inside of the cam locks, so they're inside of it. In step five, you're going to want to take your F panel. Uh, two of these hinges, your handle, uh, these two screw ones, these four silver uh, screw, screw threes, and your one screw five. It's this little black one. Uh, so to start, you can start with these hinges. Uh, just pop them flat like that. And stick them into these pre-drilled uh, holes. Then take these four silver screws and screw it in. Uh, 
Okay, next you can take uh, this magnet hinge, or magnet strike, I mean. And you're gonna to wanna to come over here to this little pre-drilled hole on the side. Line up the hole in the strike to that hole. And take your little screw five and then just screw it in. Be sure to hold your uh, strike straight while you're screwing it in. Lastly, you can take your handle and your two uh, screw ones. Go ahead and put those through. And then feed it. You can kind of hand tighten each side. And then go ahead and hold it straight while you screw it in. Or finish tightening. For step six, you're going to want to grab your A panel, your C, E, and D panels. Uh, we can start with the C panel. So you're going to want to go on this end that has this uh, magnet on it. And then grab your C panel, position the cam locks on this bottom inside side. If it falls out, it's fine. Just put it back in. Then slide it on to your A panel. Once it's on, you're gonna to wanna to tighten those cam locks down by turning clockwise. Then, once they're locked in place, take two of your caps, put them right on there. Uh, next, you're gonna to wanna to take your E panel, position it with the cam locks on this bottom edge, and then have them face towards the left, towards this magnet. And again, tighten those down by turning clockwise. Once they're on there, you can cover them up with these two caps. Lastly, take your D panel. Again, cam locks on the bottom and have them facing towards the middle. Tighten it down. In step seven, you're gonna keep this assembly been working on and then grab your G panel again put those cam locks on the bottom facing in then slide it on in between your C and E panel then once you have it on there you can tighten those cam locks by turning clockwise once you have them tightened down you can use your caps For step eight, you're gonna to wanna to keep this assembly and grab your B panel and eight of these screw twos. Position your B panel so that these metal, uh, these pre-drilled holes with metal are facing up. Or also you can just check these have uh, the larger holes for these dowel pieces. So put those facing on the bottom. Then you will want to look on the middle of your B panel. You'll notice this side has one hole and this side has these two holes. Put these two holes on the side with this little corner because you're going to screw it in here and here. So then you need to find those, where those little wood dowels slide in. And these plastic dowels on this side. Okay, so remember this side without this G panel has one hole, side with the G panel has two. Then you're gonna find your eight holes to screw these screws into. So starting here, and here, and here. In step nine, you're gonna to wanna to grab your four hairpins and 12 of these uh, screw fours. So go ahead and position just one of your hairpins, it doesn't matter. Grab three of these screws, just lock it in. Once you have them all, all three screws hand tightened in, then you can do a little quick turn with the Allen wrench. Yeah. 
repeat this for the other three hairpins. For step 10, we can go ahead and flip um, our unit over. Be sure not to catch it on one of these hairpins because they might snap off. So I'm going to go ahead and just set it up. Uh, so I'm going to need to flip it out around for you guys for the video. So once you have your unit upright and this side with the two open facings, you're going to want to come over here to where it's closed in the back. You can see your G panel back there. Uh, grab your F panel slash door. And eight of these screw threes. Okay, so position your F panel so that this handle is facing out. And if your hinges are like this, pop them flat out. And then align them to these pre drilled holes on this wall. And you're going to need to screw in four of these screws into each of the hinges. So I'm going to start with the top right one. There we go, got it in the hole. Don't tighten it all the way down and make sure you're keeping this up so you don't rip the wood. I go ahead and get a screw on the screwdriver and then poke it through the hole. Get that screw a little stuck in there. And screw it in. And I'm not getting them fully in there, just loosely, so that whenever we tighten it down, this door will be perfectly straight. So I did the top two on this top hinge. I'm going to do the top two on this bottom hinge as well before I do the other ones. And then I'm, these four that I have in there, I'm kind of tightening them down incrementally just to make sure that this door is straight on there. Now put your final two screws on each end. 